religion plays a very important role in the life of the chungpas they are devout buddhists but while buddhism preaches non violence towards all living creatures the chungpas raise their animals to be killed and sold off for meat so their lives are a bit of a paradox and in this episode we will see how the chungpas balance these two aspects of their lives through prayers and rituals the chungpas actually do believe that they are leading a sinful life this thought fills them with regret and they spend a large portion of their lives trying to atone for these sins almost every activity that they do if it doesn't involve talking the chungpas would do it with a mantra on their lips and perhaps a prayer wheel in their hands <laughs> This is very apparent in the evenings when the chungpas retire home after a long day with their animals. One of the evening routines is for Sering Dorje to recite a few mantras from his prayer book. He would start reciting the mantras and one by one the others would join in humming the prayer while still performing their chores. And soon the entire house will be reverberating with the sound of prayers. <laughs> Every winter after the new year loser celebrations the chungpas perform a special purifying puja called the japten at their homes monks from the nearby korsok and tukche monasteries come stay at the village for one month to perform the pujas in every household nga somori ri ni nga somori korsok ni ya tene same rok jin la tene nga komyal la nga ja mi som gyo ya chijeng a chijeng tene ni cheto The monks light butter lamps and prepare numerous turmas and chutpas as offerings to Guru Padmasambhava and to the beings that reside in the various realms of the wheel of life. The upper three realms belong to the humans, the gods are devas and the demigods are the asuras. And the lower three realms belong to the animals, to hell and to the hungry ghosts. Chutpas offered to the gods and demigods while the turma is given to the beings residing in the lower realms more specifically they are given to the hungry ghosts which are associated with addictions compulsions and obsessions people who are never satisfied with what they have and always want more may become hungry ghosts in their next lives sculpted out of sampa and butter The turma represents the negative or destructive energies that surround us. All that is evil, even one's own bad features can be projected onto the turma and destroyed. This is the reason why the turmas are always thrown out or burnt as soon as the rituals are completed. The turmas are usually thrown out in the direction where the negativity is believed to have originated. The month long pujas end with the festival of Tangpo Chowa which happens on the 15th day of the first month of the Tibetan calendar. The festival begins with the tying of prayer flags on top of Polo Gongkola to honor the Lato or protector deity that resides there. Polo Gongkola is the pass that leads to Rupshu, the home of these Changpas. So 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 Sous-titrage Société Radio-Canada 
Sango, 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 Back in the village, the monks are busy sculpting various elaborate thermos for the festival. The main centerpiece is the therma of a deity called Troma Nagmo, the fierce black one or more commonly referred to as the Tibetan Kali. Blue black in color, she is wrathful in appearance with three round glaring eyes, a gaping red mouth and yellow hair flowing upward like flames. Every aspect of her form is designed to convey a spiritual meaning. For example, the three eyes symbolize her ability to see everything in the past, present and future. One member from each household has to be present for the main puja. They gather together at the village chieftain's house and sing to various traditional songs with a cup of charm in their hands. The main event of the day are the horse races or the stagyuks which happen in the open fields outside the village. Not many Changpas own horses these days. Most of the horses have been replaced by cars and pickup trucks, so the races are not as grand as it used to be in the past. But still, the joy on the rider's faces is unmistakable, especially when their horses are in full gallop. is to destroy the turmas used in the puja. One by one, the turmas are placed on the ground and the changpas come galloping on their horses and try to hit the turma with rocks. The riders whose stone hits the target are offered the kadak or white scar and some chang as reward. The festival winds down in the evening. The priests take all the remaining turmas to the outskirts of the village. They say a few prayers there and then destroy the turmas by throwing them into a fire. This symbolizes the destruction of all negative energies surrounding the village and paves the way for a fresh, fruitful year for the Changpas. Mm-hmm. 